Hey guys, Shabadoo here, and today I'm reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 114, Intimidating Passion, The Birth of a New Super Warrior. And in case you didn't know by now, the title gives the, the plot away for this, because anytime it says a new Super Warrior in regards to Dragon Ball, it's always talking about fusion. And the fusion is between Kale and Kalifa. Because... This is the continuation of the Goku vs. Khalifa fight we had last week. But this time, well, Goku vs. Khalifa and Kale, because they both were fighting him. But yeah, for the first half of this fight, though, Goku does lose pretty badly just because 2 on 1, using up the Super Saiyan 2 against, like, uh, the legendary Super Saiyan Berserk mode thing, whatever it's supposed to be, and. Khalifa, who is highly annoying in this episode. Uh, I just can't stand these characters, but... I mean, there's something I kind of like about them, but they're just annoying at times. But yeah. They fight Goku. Uh, they start losing, and then they fuse just in time to not be eliminated by Goku. Uh, okay. Last week, I kind of said that I liked the fight. This week I was disappointed until Goku actually was able to fight back because I did like a few bits of that, mainly just how cocky Goku was uh, when he turned red. He was shooting people with a finger gun. Uh, well, not shooting. Think, uh, he was shooting at them but missing because finger guns for the good guys never hits. <laughs> but unless you're bad, you're not going to hit it. Yeah, I, I like that bit about the fight. And then we had Frieza fighting a Power Ranger or something. I'm not sure what he was. I mean, I don't even know if I would call it a fight. Because he just kind of teleported away saying, Catch me, Frieza. And Frieza's like, no, I don't want to do that. That's stupid. And nothing else happened. He just, Frieza started watching the fight between Goku and... Kefla, or whatever her name is. I think it's Kefla. I... Mm. I just don't understand the rules of this tournament. Like, I'm surprised they allowed the Patara earrings for this. But apparently, no one's complaining. Not even Beerus complained. I'm shocked. Apparently, the Patara is completely legal. I mean... Who would have guessed it? But yeah. Uh, is there anything else that really happened? Not really. But, uh, there is one big plus I liked about the episode. And that is the lighting. Um, the lighting on characters on the bench, like, actually stood out quite a bit. And the lighting on Goku in Super Saiyan God form also was good. So, at times, the quality of the animation was really good in this episode you know like the episode itself i actually didn't like that much but there's parts of this episode that was actually really solid and i liked it's just that there's a lot to it i was not a big fan of and then um yeah next episode apparently more su oh i keep forgetting about vegeta and topo nothing happened there you don't even need to even worry uh like vegeta hit him once and topo hit him once this whole fight my god Ugh, i hate that all right but yeah next episode is gonna be super saiyan blue versus kefla or whatever and apparently blue's gonna lose spoiler it's in the title all right since I did not exactly like this episode that much, but I'm giving it credit because uh, I might not have liked it, but it was a well-made episode. So I'm giving it a seven out of ten. Um, I could see I can I almost kind of go up to eight, but me personally, I'm not a fan of this episode. Just because I don't like the way the story's kind of going at the moment. But everything else about the episode, besides the plot weirdness, is really solid. So I can see why some people might like this episode. But there's a lot to it I'm not a fan of. But 
hey, to each his own, and um, hope you guys liked the episode, or like it enough to continue watching Super. Also, make sure to let me know what you thought about the episode down in the comments, because I do really, really want you to ask to comment to, on my videos, because no one comments. Not a soul. Not even the spam bots comment anymore. And then also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, random videos, and gameplay, and whatever else I want to do. Because I have yet to decide what I truly want to do with this channel. But I'm tired. I've had a rough day. That's why you didn't see any pictures. You ain't, you're not going to see a thumbnail that's good. Because I just don't care. Uh, the video is going to get demonetized because YouTube hates me. Uh, it's not going to show up in a search bar because, well, YouTube hates me. Because the last, like, five videos have gotten, like, three views total. It doesn't happen normally, but uh, who am I to complain in a review about? Super. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and have a fantastic day, guys. Um, stay tuned for next week because hopefully the plot will actually be better next week hopefully i can hope all right thanks for watching guys and peace out